Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2020 SHOT Show is sponsored by Hog Holsters and Olight Flashlights. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2020 SHOT Show. I'm here with Tim from Maxpedition, and it wouldn't be complete without having to, having to talk about Maxpedition. So, Tim, thanks for taking a minute, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So, we thought we'd do something a little bit different this year instead of just showing you a product reviews and product, what's going on. I'm just going to kind of, Tim has been in this industry since for a long, long time. So thought we'd just kind of get an idea of, of from, what's your take on how this the, the backpack industry and the tactical pack industry has evolved over the years? Because I've seen a lot of significant changes, and I'm sure you probably are aware of more than I than I am. Right, right. So um, this is my 17th shot show. Wow. Uh, started Max Expedition in 2003. Uh, there definitely has been an, an evolution um, in the way bags are designed. Uh, when I first started the company in 2003, uh, this was. Um, a few years after the invention of the Molly system. The Molly system was developed in, I, I believe, uh, 97. So all the backpacks, all the tactical backpacks had the Molly system. And that lasted for about 10 years and then there were uh, different kinds of innovation that came thereafter. Um, in 2014, Maxpedition introduced the uh, laser cut uh, version that we call Atlas. So basically we took a flat panel and we, instead of uh, sewing pieces of webbing all over the backpack, uh, we took a solid panel and we uh, laser cut holes into it. And that was developed now, it's what, six years ago? Um, it seems like uh, a lot of other people have started doing that as well. Three years ago, Maxpedition introduced our Entity line, which is our uh, line of discreet concealed carry bags. Uh, we started going to a uh, kind of a grayish or blackish uh, fabric, not, not a solid fabric, uh, just to have it, mo have it more of an urban look. Yeah, it didn't look all, all OD green and khaki. Correct. And that was three years ago. So uh, for 2020, Max Expedition has sort of taken taken it full circle. Um, you can see the, these are our new products for 2020. Um, we have gone back to some of our uh, solid uh, nylon fabrics, 100% nylon. Um, solid uh, classic colors like the wolf gray, uh, navy, um, Navy blue and of course uh, black. We're not showing the black, but uh, yes. black, you know, obviously is, is one of our. Clients. So we, we've come full circle. Um, there was a period of time uh, that we sort of stayed away from the the hook and loop for patches and stuff like that. We brought that back um, full on uh, for people to customize. So uh, definitely um, the new line echoes a lot of the things that we did with our original legacy line that was you know that goes back to 2003. Um, it's definitely has a little bit less Molly, but uh, you know we've sort of gone back, gone back to where we where we started, and um, a big reason, a big driving factor for that is our customers. Our customers keep telling us, "Hey, we, we, you know, we want we want some of the more classic, more traditional uh, Max Mission design." So we've we've uh, gone back to that, but taken you know a different twist, uh, different twist with it. Yeah. So and what I, I noticed about these when we first walked up. They they don't they look extremely non-threatening. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. They look like a college. You can see these on college campuses, and you can see people wearing them. Uh, right. People that that might shy away from the military style looking packs. Correct. Because or, or maybe they they don't where their environment they're in is not, is not conducive to those. You know, this right. this would be perfect, but it's still got right. the. Uh, Still got. The, I mean, that's a solid. You can feel yes. the. Yeah. What's that? It's like a thousand denier. A thousand denier. A thousand denier. One hundred percent pure nylon material, and that's what you know. Max Expedition started with uh, with our legacy line, and you know we've gone back to this uh, this solid material. It's just so so durable and lasts forever. So you mentioned Molly. So just for, in case somebody doesn't know what Molly is, it basically if I got it's just a series of horizontal loops. And you, 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 you thread either a strap or you, I think you came up with a molly stick thing right. that, that you can slide down in and it just locks it in place very, very securely. Yeah, the, the molly was a uh, invention for the US, uh, US military, US Army. Yep. And basically what most people associate with is uh, these horizontal strips of uh, webbing, one inch webbing, and they're divided in uh, one and a half inch slots and channels. Okay. And then there are little pouches with uh, straps in the back with different yeah. solutions to the straps. Some are sewn in, some are uh, externally added plastic or uh, right. fabric straps. And basically those weave into the system and the pouch becomes part of the backpack or the vest. So it allows you to, to, to increase your, your capacity in different, in organization too. Correct. So speaking of organization, what, what I've noticed over the years, 
Like there's some trends, like lots and lots of internal pockets, and then down to maybe not as many internal pockets, or maybe um, like internal hook and loop where you can you can modular modularize if that's where yeah. your components. Um, what what are you seeing? Have, what do you think that? Because you're kind of on the. Uh, we were talking. I think you're, you're, you seem to be kind of on the front of the wave to, to some of these trends. So what do you see coming down the road? Correct. Yeah. I mean, Max Edition, All these all these backpacks have interior uh, loop loop fields for organization. And uh, in the earlier days, we would uh, sew in organizers uh, into the backpacks. And now, you know, we have these loop lined areas on the inside, and people can buy different types of organizers um, and customize the interior. Uh, just as the Molly system allows you to customize the exterior. So there's definitely a lot of uh, interior organization uh, going on with our, our backpacks as well. So. so which one of your backpacks do you usually use the most? Uh, so for the last couple of years, I've been using this backpack. This is actually a new introduction um, for 2020. We're, we'll, we'll be shipping these in, in May. Um, but yeah, I came up with this design a couple of years ago and I've been testing it uh, for the last couple of years, you know, in, in all my, um, you know, travels around the world, uh, you know, going factories and, and working on, on uh, the manufacturing side of the, of the brand. But um, yeah, these are, this is the 22 liter and the 26 liter. Uh, I call these the TT series. That's sort of a working title. TT is my name, uh, Tim Tang. So um, sort of a, a personal, a personal project um, yeah. that uh, really liked and, and we're going to, you know, bring this to the market. I mean, that speaks to, obviously you can use any backpack Max Expedition you want or any other. I'm sure you're going to be using Max Expedition, but so to know which one yeah. you, you choose out of, out of I mean, all your all your babies here, that's yeah. good to know. I, mean, I, I personally test every backpack. Um, I've used the Prepared Citizen Classic extensively. This is our uh, kind of smaller um, book bag looking uh, concealed carry backpack. I've used this one extensively. I take this to the office uh, almost daily just for. Uh, you know, my computer and stuff like that. So what do you think about the trend of um, armored backpacks or armored sleeves for backpacks? Uh, uh, you know, places that you can put body armor in backpacks. Right, right, right. Uh, these, these backpacks are designed with a sleeve um, for, for uh, the insertion of a body armor of the customer's choice. Yeah. So we've, we also work with a company called Premier Body Armor and they make custom fitted uh, pieces of body armor that go into our various backpacks. So. Uh, our backpacks are definitely uh, designed for uh, accommodating body armor and also for concealed carry. This is something, I, I know this, we're not just doing product review stuff here, but this is right. a, uh, so, yeah. a new, I haven't seen this before. So this is, uh, this is a new product for 2020. So, you know, Maxpedition, we make a lot of you know, concealed carry or tactical gear, um, but this, this tote actually doesn't conceal carry and it's not really tactical. It's very well built. Um, it's one of the most practical things that that we make because uh, everyone needs a tote. You go grocery shopping. Yeah. You have laundry, clean or dirty laundry. You have to carry around and all kinds of purposes. And um, yeah, this is just a great bag. It, it's not designed to carry a gun or or, or anything like that. Um, it's just a day to day, everyday carry tote. And it's so practical. And everyone in our office uses it. And. Um, so yeah, stuff product. like that you don't think about it, but it's like that, that's just a handy thing to have. Like handy you thing say. to have, yeah. You and can go to and, the beach or whatever, you know. And the cool thing about that is that um, this this actually folds up to a little package package like this, so you can put it in your backpack or just oh. throw it in the back of your truck. That's pretty cool. Very uh, uh -huh. very handy piece of gear. So you're gonna make them with flowers on them. You should make a little a little a little more feminine, you know. Feminine. Um, you yeah, might, you, might, you might increase your market share with that. We have, uh, you know, we have our loop field, so you can also yeah. you can put a little flower patch on there if you want. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I, I can these, just these see my wife using this yep. going to the beach or whatever. You know, we make it in black, so there black, you go. black, and then put a little flower yeah. patch on it. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I can see me using it too, but I'm just saying, like, when we go to the beach, it's not just stroll to the beach with your towel around your neck. You know, she's sure. got. We got to have the bag for the stuff, right? And so we've had some bags over the years that didn't last at all. Well, the yeah. cool thing about this pack, backpack, backpack, cool thing, cool thing about this backpack is that it's actually made out of one piece of fabric, so there are no joints. So everything from here to the bottom to the side, yeah, yeah. all these, this is all what cut out of one piece of fabric. It's just folded and stitched here, so um, you're actually literally holding everything that's in this bag 
with one piece of fabric that's going all the way around the bottom. And those handles are stitched on like they're supposed to be. They're not coming off. Correct. And, and um, so, uh, probably of all the things in here, that's that's the most. You, you wouldn't expect me to look at that, but I'm thinking that's right. that's stinking cool. It's just, <laughs> just practical. <laughs> it really is because yeah. I, um, like you said, you use that stuff so many times. There's so many times I've been just you carrying stuff. You know, if I'm going out to make a video and I've got a bunch of samples to, to, to review or whatever, I always use some kind of little bag, and that's like just. It's amazing how something you don't think about would be that big a deal. It turns out to be right. so handy. I bet you. I would bet you that if, if somebody got this, they're going to be like, "I can't believe I've, I've not had this for that." Exactly. Where's this been all my? It's one of those, where's it, where you been all yeah. my life things? Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's one of those things where it's it's, it's instant uh, capacity. You know, you can yeah. pull it out of your backpack and double the amount of stuff you can carry. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, what do you like to do when you're not making backpacks? Uh, I'm actually a uh, an artist. I do a little painting and drawing. Um, just yeah, mostly wow. as a hobby. That's cool. That's cool. So, you ever watch Bob Ross? Yeah, I've seen his videos. I've yeah, seen his videos so. on, on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> you have happy little trees in your paintings? No, I'm not that good. <laughs> That's cool. I wish I could do that. I play guitar a little bit, but it's interesting to find out stuff like that about people. Most though. of my time is committed to uh, doing this. Yeah, yeah. So, usually uh, do a little bit of my art. Uh, at night, you know, after my kids go to bed, yeah, that's when I have my a little bit of private time, a little bit of yeah. quiet time. So, but but you're you're obviously you, your artistic mindset comes into play when you're designing stuff. Correct. It help, it's got to be help you with the design and the things. Yeah, there's definitely a lot, a lot of artistry that goes into uh, creating a backpack. You know, there's this, yeah. the science of it, the, the uh, engineering side of it, but there's also an artistry yes. to making it make, making sure it looks good. Too. Yeah, because the reality is, I mean, that's that's part of the that's part of the process. If it does, right. people, if it's not attractive, people don't want it. Right. No matter how functional it is, you have to have a good blend. You know, you have to have form and function because people just don't want butt ugly backpacks. You said you didn't want to do like a product demo thing, but right. but I, but I know the viewers gonna want to see yep. that they want to see the because what I'll get is a bunch of comments. Why didn't you show any backpacks? Yeah. Why didn't you do so? We can so, just real quickly so what totally, you got going yeah, on. Yeah. We um, so in middle of. 2019, we came out with the Prepared Citizen line. Uh, that was after last, the last SHOT Show. So this is the first SHOT Show that we're actually introducing the full line. Uh, Prepared Citizen being uh, the line of backpacks that are uh, discreet looking for concealed carry and will actually accommodate a, a body armor. Uh, so for SHOT Show, we're introducing the Deluxe model, which is this backpack here. Uh, if you're familiar with the Maxpedition uh, line, you know we came out with a classic last year. The deluxe model is larger, has a large middle compartment, and uh, bottle holders on either side. Uh, for the show, we came out with two limited edition versions of the classic. Mm -hmm. So the original classic was available in solid colors, black, OD green, navy blue, and wolf gray. For the show, we made actually a dual color uh, combination. So this one is... Uh, the wolf gray and dark blue combined. And this one is our royal blue and dark blue combined. So just a little bit of variety. And then here, uh, these are the prototypes that we're showing. This is These are products that are not um, yet for sale, but will be in around the May time frame. Okay, so these have the uh, concealed carry pass through in the back with a with zipper on both sides, just, Correct. Like, just yes. like the entity. So all these, yes, they, uh, they do. Exactly like that. Um, the Deluxe, the Classic, these new uh, TT backpacks all have uh, dual uh, zipper access for concealed carry in the back and the uh, security lockout strip okay. that yeah. prevents uh, that prevents one side from opening. Yeah, so and you can also, I've learned that if you don't carry, like if you're going to the airport, you can unzip both those and stick them down over your over your suitcase yeah. handle. That's and correct. Keep them together. You so can do that or you can actually put the security lockout strip right down the middle and that, that splits the, that rear compartment yeah. into two different compartments for documents right. and stuff like uh, that's, that. Yep, that's, that's a good point too. So, uh, Well, Tim, thanks. Man, I know you're a busy Thank guy. You so much. Thanks for taking this time yeah. and telling us a little bit about your kind of something other than, than, than the gear. And thanks for showing us the gear too because I know people want to see it. You, got a, you, you have a very, very popular backpack and you've done a great job. And I think you are, on the, again, on the front of the curve, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Take care. Thanks for watching Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2020 SHOT Show here at Maxpedition. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.